there's been a little less um, content in terms of language and so on, but probably a little more depth in terms of the experiences you're creating and beginning to understand. Hopefully also your intuitions are starting to get a little bit more attuned. Who's getting a sense now that they're really beginning to notice and, and uh, bring to life unconscious activity, genuine unconscious stuff? Anyone? Good. So we're going to now have a little fun with that. I'm going to play a series of games. Actually, the whole series is very simple. I call them Doctor Unconscious. What's going to happen is you'll take turns with whoever you meet. One of you will be Doctor Unconscious, and the other one will be a patient. And as a patient, you'll come in, and you'll tell the doctor that you've noticed something, anything, right? Doctor, doctor, I've noticed. Um, I have a sensation in my back, right? doesn't have to be good or bad or indifferent. Uh, use something genuine if you want. That's fine, right? And all the other person is going to do, the doctor unconscious is going to go, is smile and go, how wonderful. <laughs> did you know your unconscious mind did that? And you'll go, wow, thank you, doctor. And you're off you go. Or you'll swap roles and off you go. <laughs> That's it. Is this a difficult exercise, folks? I should hope not, all right? So go forth. And be a uh, doctor un unconscious. Off you go. So, was that easy? Was that fun? Yes? We're going to put a little more challenge on this now. So you have all kinds of things. You may, you may notice your, oh, I felt the sensation in my foot. My, I, I felt the warmth in my back. I, whatever. Actually, feel free to use genuine things you're experiencing uh, as you notice them and have that response come back. This time, doctor unconscious is going to have a slightly more skeptical patient. So when you say, uh, someone give me something that you notice quickly. Headache, yes? Fantastic. So we'll say, oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. You have, you, is this a wonderful sign of unconscious activity? Right? And they're going to say, how, how do you mean? How is that unconscious? And you have to find a plausible, not necessarily correct, but a plausible reason for why that is an example of genuine unconscious activity. It, help if it, it helps if it's correct, but I'm not going to limit you to correctness. Do you all understand the exercise? Yeah. Okay. Yes? No? no? Do, you want to, do you want to have a quick example? No. Do you have a heads up? Yeah. So, well, did you choose to have that headache? No. No, so there it is. It must have come from somewhere. That means it's a genuine unconscious response. That's wonderful. <laughs> Off you go. Thank you. All right, guys. You seem to be having a lot of fun here. That's a little bit too much fun. Let's double check we're on here. That's good. Okay, so, was that easy, yes? Relatively fun? So far. So far. <laughs> All right, so this time what I want you to do is to come up to Dr. Unconscious and you pretend to have some genuine problem. I've got a, a headache, I've got a pain in my shoulder, uh, you know, I've got a paralyzed arm, I have whatever, right? Keep in the realm of the psychological, you know? Not like, uh, you know, I've, I've had both my feet blown up in Afghanistan. Not... <laughs> This is not the, the nature of what we're doing here. Just genuine things. I've got a headache. I've got a pain here. You, you know the nature of the things I'm talking about, correct? Yeah. Okay. Dr. Unconscious, of course, is going to get very excited because every time anything unconscious occurs, he gets very excited. He's going, that's wonderful. That's a wonderful demonstration of unconscious activity. Now, you, however, being the pa doctor's patient, aren't going to be very happy. He says, how on earth is having a headache wonderful? We had a little example of that here earlier on, right? Now, your job as the good doctor is to translate whatever they've just given you into a genuine hypnotic phenomenon, which it is. When someone feels, say, a pain in their shoulder, what is that? There is a, there is a kinesthetic sensation. There is a feeling that's been generated that they haven't chosen, right? Now, for the moment, let's assume there's no organic cause for it, right? Because we're not doing pain control or anything like that. We're just doing an exercise. And just do a proper disclaimer, especially for you folks back home. <laughs> this is not how you should do therapy, is what we're about to go into. But you say, that's wonderful. You know, it's a genuine example of unconscious activity. How is that wonderful, doctor? Well, think about it. You have developed a sensation unconsciously in your shoulder. You didn't make that happen, it's just, it's just there. Yes, but how is that wonderful? Well, if you can make one sensation, you can make another. If you can feel pain in your shoulder, how much pleasure can the rest of you feel?
Do you understand the exercise? Yes? Off you go. Good fun so far? Are you learning to be able to translate a problem phenomenon into actually a, a recoded as an actual hypnotic phenomenon? Yes? So now the next stage of this is this, you start the same way. Doctor, doctor, I have this problem X, right? Um, or, actually, let's make it a little more fun. They can come in with a problem, like I've got a pain in my shoulder, I've got this sensation. Or they'll say, look, I've noticed this sensation. Is it bad? I don't know, right? Whichever it is, because now you have a little bit of a play here. If it's something that, that they don't come to as bad, it does. is it bad, is it a problem? You go, no, that's wonderful. It's a sign of unconscious activity, and you go into the translating it into a hypnotic effect. If it's a problem, then you go translating it into an unconscious activity and a hypnotic effect. The thing you do at the end of that, though, is to remind them, by the way, did you realize feeling things and making sensations come up like that, that as a sign, as a, actually a deep trance phenomenon, did you know that? And they'll probably say, no, doctor, I didn't. Because, well, I wonder what this means. If you're having a deep trance phenomenon, maybe you're in a trance. <laughs> Off you go. So how's that going, folks? Is it fun? Is it interesting? You like the next piece to this? So you started off with either asking, well, I've got this thing, but I'm not sure if it's good or bad, and you get very excited. Or they say, this is actually bad, and you get excited. Because um, it's, it's genuine unconscious activity. How wonderful is that for us as hypnotists, right? And then you, um, you translate it into a hypnotic phenomenon, right? And wonder out loud what else they could do with this hypnotic phenomenon, correct? Finally, you said, well, did you know this was a hypnotic phenomenon, which is a sign of trance? Maybe you're in a trance right now. So far, so good, right? So the next piece is to wonder out loud, if you are in a trance right now, I wonder what will happen next. <laughs> Aren't you curious? But then you see, this is the important part. You look at them meaningfully and expectantly, and you wait. <laughs> I will make you one guarantee. Something will happen. <laughs> Guaranteed. Now, what might those somethings be? Maybe they feel something, something internal. And you'll usually tell because they'll go, or they'll give a reaction to it. If they don't actually say it out loud, if you just see the reaction, you just go, that's it? What was that? If they do it physically, like a little twitch in their arm, you go, oh, did you notice that? Now, here's the best part. If they say no, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm talking about. You go, no. Yet it happened. Look, there it is again. What? <laughs> Who do you think is talking to you when they have no idea what you're talking about? their unconscious mind, right? If they tell you it's a sensation, well, that's great. It could be an increase of whatever they had. It could be a decrease of whatever they had. It could be something completely different. Who cares? Why? Your doctor unconscious. It's all good. Because it's all created unconscious. It's all some kind of deep trance phenomenon. It is all an example of hypnosis occurring. And therefore, they must be going deeper into a trance, which means even more is about to happen. What's that? Do you understand the nature of the exercise? Have fun with it. OK, how was that? Was that fun? Did you enjoy that? So we'd like you to do an uh, induction now. Only this time, what I want you to do is the person comes up. You can have a little chat with them until something occurs. Right? You might notice something, like they're blinking. Go, oh, I noticed your blinking reflex has changed. Did you know that your blinking reflex changing is a sign of unconscious activity? I wonder what it means. Do you think you could be in a trance? No, doctor. That's right. You really don't think <laughs> you're in a trance. Do you see where we're going with this? Or you're having a chat and they'll say, oh, yeah, yeah, I've got a little, I've got a little soreness in my shoulder. Oh, that's wonderful. 
Did you, did you choose to have that soreness in your shoulder? No? Well, you realize that's a sign of unconscious activity, don't you? That's, known as, that's a deep trance phenomena known as a kinesthetic hallucination. What? That's right. <laughs> this could mean that you're in a trance. I wonder what will happen next. And you watch. That's it. What was that? And have fun with that. At some point, they will be so lost <laughs> that you will get to enjoy observing them going to the most wonderful trance. But then you see, then the real work begins. Because they'll go into a nice trance, you can do whatever stuff that you've been doing these last few days with them that you wish. But at some point, you should allow them to wake up as a mind, maybe even as a mind and body, just to fool them a bit. And when they're back, you can ask them, do you think you're in a trance right now? And they'll go, no, doctor, I don't think so. That's something that's right. You really don't think so, do you? And yet, all this time we've been talking, your arms haven't moved one bit. Do you normally sit that still? Well, actually, no, I don't. Did you know that sitting still is a sign of unconscious activity? Maybe you're still in a trance. I don't know, doctor, what do you think? Well, let's find out. If you're in a trance, your left hand will lift by itself. If you're not in a trance, your right hand will lift by itself. <laughs> Could you imagine having a little bit of fun with this? Yes? Is that morally correct? <laughs> yes, that's another question. All right, folks, I would encourage you to find a partner. Uh, James, I think, do we fix the James mics? Or are these, or can we use one of these ones? OK. Um, find a partner, a different partner. And please, spend 15 minutes with this, because there are lots of opportunities for you to bring them back, play a little bit, put them back in, back again. And just notice what happens each time you bring them back in. Make sense? I would like for you to bring them back at least twice and put them back in at least twice before you finish. So other than that, just really have fun with this. And the key here is the, the key here, <coughs> thank you. And the key here is finding the, um, finding those moments where you can play with them when they think they're awake, but there is some ambiguity about the matter. All right, guys? Uh, quick question here. 15 minutes each, exactly. All right, so 30 minutes from now, we'll be back here again. All right, guys, off you go.